I'm not going to waste your time. This is a complete manual on how to top your testosterone level as a man. Let's jump right into it. Step 0. Why do you need a high testosterone level to begin with? I'm going to be honest with you on this. Without a high level of testosterone, you're missing out on so much glow-up potential. With a low testosterone level, you'll only be able to scratch the surface of your incredible potential. Even if you go to the gym, have a skincare routine, etc. On the other hand, a high testosterone level will let your muscles grow faster. It positively affects your voice, hair, and mental well-being, boosts your confidence, and also makes it way easier to attract high value people into your life. That's why today, I'm giving you the secrets to maximizing your testosterone level without any BS. But I must warn you, if you skip any one of the steps in this video, you'll keep seeing mediocre results, so this video is only for you if you're actually serious about leveling up in life. Signs of Low Testosterone it's crucial to know if you even have a low level of testosterone. To identify that, here are some symptoms of a low T. And no, it's not the same old stuff you keep hearing. This is the real deal backed up by science itself. Do keep in mind that it's normal if you have a few of those. It's not going to be a problem as long as you don't see many of them at once. 1. Low energy. If you're feeling tired, lazy, and overall less motivated to do your daily tasks, then that might mean you have a low level of this powerful hormone. 2. Down mood. Correlating the last point with this one, if you have a depressed and edgy mood, like getting annoyed and agitated by minor stuff, then that could be a sign of low T. 3. Sex drive. If your libido is not up to the mark, then there can be something off with the chemical balance. 4. Skinny fat. Speaking of chemical imbalance, if you're skinny fat and have stubborn fat reserves like love handles and man boobs, then that could mean a high level of estrogen and a low level of testosterone. 5. High-pitched voice As men, it's our genetic characteristic that we have a grave voice, and when it becomes shrill, you know that something is not right. 6. Patchy hair if you're experiencing loss of hair either from your scalp or beard, then that could mean your powerful hormone isn't where it should be. 7. ED Lastly, if you're having trouble getting it up and functioning properly, chances are it has something to do with your testosterone level. Those are the major signs, and as I previously said, it's totally normal to have a few of those. But if you can check almost all the boxes, then it's probably time to fix those issues. Step 1. Identifying the reason. It's critical to know what's causing you to have low levels of the manly chemical so that you can avoid doing them consciously. Here, I'm not going to talk about the obvious stuff, but we'll give you the points that you usually get ignored. So no matter how much you work on increasing your testosterone, unless you take care of these factors, your testosterone will never reach its true height. Let's get into them. Addiction. Believe it or not, addiction to video games or porn can lead to low levels of testosterone. I'll get to pornographic content later, but right now the main topic is addiction. One big reason why it's so detrimental to your T is because it can lead to stress, which increases the cortisol level. Cortisol is a chemical in your brain that is inversely proportional to testosterone. This means that a spike in cortisol will create an automatic dip in testosterone. Not only that, it messes with your reward system, especially porn, as it increases your dopamine level, and as soon as you're done, it dips down even below the normal level. This makes the mood dark and dull, which can in turn lower testosterone. Here cell phone addiction is also troublesome, because high screen time impacts the circadian rhythm of the gonadal, adrenal, and pituitary glands, which means higher estrogen, which means lower testosterone. Plastic. This might not seem like an issue for biology, but trust me, it's as harmful for internal matters as it is for external atmosphere. These microplastics in the environment contain a chemical called BPA, which acts as an endocrine disruptor, leading to the production of estrogen-like hormone. This results in loss of muscle mass, decreased libido, gaining weight. It also negatively impacts sperm count and sperm motility, and lowers the production of testosterone. Step 2. Increasing the T if you're just slacking off being lazy, eating junk food, and sitting in one place at home, then how do you expect testosterone to be dynamic? Testosterone responds to your body. The more you stay in one place, guess what? It's going to do the same. This brings me to the first point. Exercise. The most popular and heavily prescribed method of instantly boosting your testosterone naturally is simply exercising. Essentially, any physical activity counts, but the more intense and rigorous a workout is, the more rewarding it will be. Strength training and weightlifting have been shown to spike up the masculine hormone the most. With just 30 minutes of weightlifting, you can increase your testosterone by more than 21%. 
But if you don't have time to hit the gym, you can simply do cardio or start participating in some sort of competitive sport. The more physical, the better. Sleep. Exercise is always accompanied by good quality sleep. However, I'm not going to talk about 8-hour sleep stuff and waste your time. You already know about its significance. I'm talking about maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, and trust me, it's more crucial than you think. Having a dynamic sleep and wake timetable impacts your circadian rhythm which is your body's natural alarm clock. It controls your cognitive performance, metabolism, organ functions, and hormone production, which also includes your testosterone. I have touched upon the circadian rhythm in detail in the video. The scientific routine to succeed as a man, which is linked down below, you can check that out if you want the best results. Sunlight. Another factor that lowers your testosterone levels is the lack of sunlight. Going out into the sun gives you natural vitamin D, which has been scientifically proven to increase testosterone levels. Not only that, it also helps in regulating the circadian rhythm, which, as I previously discussed, will help you increase your T levels. Think of testosterone as a primal hormone. Back in the day when humans used to hunt in order to survive, they had a consistent sleep-wake cycle because of the natural day and night timings. They also had enough physical activity by hunting down prey and building their shelters, which also meant that they used to stay outside in the sun for a large chunk of the day. One thing that wasn't available at that time was processed food. This meant that there was no junk to eat, which is the next point. A good diet. Excluding junk food from your life is one of the best things that you can do for your body. High sugar foods like desserts, chocolate, and soft drinks are not only damaging your testosterone levels, but also your health. Just by not eating processed food, you save yourself from an almost 15% dip in your tea levels. This means that not eating anything at all is better than eating junk. To maximize the results, you can include a moderate quantity of proteins, vegetables, and healthy fats in your diet, which is also what masculine ancestors did back in the day. Meditation As previously mentioned, stress is an enemy of testosterone. To counter that, one efficient thing you can do is achieve mindfulness through meditation. It improves your cognitive and emotional performance and makes you more aware of your surroundings by granting you control over your desire to move aimlessly. By consistently practicing it, you can effectively decrease your regular stress levels, which means an automatic increase in testosterone levels. Meditation essentially gives you a sense of calm, peace, and therapy. You can achieve this by reading books as well. By reading, you'll be getting two things at once, achieving a state of serenity and acquisition of knowledge which has proven to enhance your neurological development. Socializing being social and partaking in productive interactions will also increase your testosterone level. It's a natural way to decrease cortisol when you hang out with your friends and loved ones. Going out and having a high-voltage socializing experience is certainly better than wasting time scrolling through Instagram posts and, as I previously said, the more you move, the better it is for your testosterone levels. Apart from that, participating in competitions has been shown to have a positive impact on testosterone too. Many studies show that a person who actively takes part in social competitions has an increased masculine hormone regardless if they win or lose. So don't shy away from taking on a new challenge and living an eventful life. If you found this guide valuable, then you'd also like my video on 5 Masculine Habits That Will Fix 99% of Your Problems as a Man. Click right here to get to that one.